Hey, what's up? This is Mike Locke with MLF Consulting, and thanks for checking out this video. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to take a website from, or how I take a, a site from mock-up to HTML to a working prototype. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I get asked that question a lot, and uh, people are curious and, and just wanting to know how I go about doing things. I've been designing sites now for a little over 14 years, I believe. And, um, you know, we all have our different ways of doing it, and I think it's helpful to show people how I do it, and maybe it, it sparks some ideas and, and help you out with your own, your own process. So what I normally do, when I, when I design a site, let's go back here. Um, I'm in Fireworks right now, and that's my tool of choice. But I normally mock up a website um, in Fireworks. And what I would do... Um, all these parts are, are moving as you can see and uh, so I would spend days weeks however it you know however long it takes to actually design the site to to my liking or to my clients liking um, going back and forth with um, with mock-ups uh, once the approved design is in place then I start um, to piece the site together and put it in HTML now most people if you're working with fireworks you might um, you might think it's easy to use Dreamweaver or export your site to Dreamweaver and you're done. I don't do it that way because uh, I want to have full control over my code and I don't want any uh, unnecessary code in, in my, my HTML. Okay, So the only thing that I, I use Dreamweaver for is this thing here. So if you go to Dreamweaver and you open it up and you click on create a new HTML page, it actually has all this code done for you I love that because I, I hate typing that in so I normally grab that and I come over here to my tool of choice my text editor called TextPad, and I would just paste that in to uh, to my my site here so I'll just paste it in there and so then I would save the file as uh, index.html now going back over to to my mock-up I would start Let's say if this is my final design, I'm going to start with the background because uh, you see there is a, a background image. And what I would do, I need to piece all those things together. So I would, I would sort of, um, in Fireworks, I would lock that graphic down and hide all my other objects. I would just select all these, group them, and then hide it. And then what I would do is export. Let's just lower the uh, percentage there. So this image here, I would export this image um, by itself. So I would just do File, Export, save it as BG underscore graphic right there. And um, so going back to my HTML code, what I would do is type in my style here. URL. Now, I always start off my coding by embedding my style sheet, or my style, my CSS, and then later what I do is I go back in and then remove them and then put them into a CSS file for, uh, and give them all file, um, class names and things of that such, such, if that makes any sense. So right here, what, I, what you see is I'm just, I, I put in the background image in my, in my body style save HTML let's preview it and you see there's a background there with a the little word testing that I just did okay now the next thing I would do is start building out let's go back to my mock-up the next thing that I would do is start building out my let's move that I would start building out this this sort of this top portion which is my navigation bar and my my logo so what I do is I, because this background, this, this logo needs to be um, transparent, I would then copy this file, create a new canvas, Let's see, trim all the unnecessary space, and then I would save this file as a PNG. Now in, in, in Fireworks, you can do this easily by coming over here under Optimize. Right here, you can just choose PNG32 file 
export and then I just save it as a logo save as a logo and then I come over here to my HTML and I start building out my containers and what I mean by that is this this can this contain this space here would be well each section I would call a container you know so I would start building out my header container and um, and start piecing the site together so what I've done so that you're not bored and, and watch me type I've already done this so um, as you can see here I would then start building out my main container you see a div here 900 width um, that's the width that I have going across and uh, I would center it you know you can center it in many different ways um, and then I would start piecing my I would start piecing my my logo together now I'm going to show you how that's done so I would build out this code this table here you know according to and I would position it however I, how I wanted it you see it's just a simple table I like using tables to you know I think it's they're just a bit stronger and they're more compatible across browsers and uh, that's just my preference but um, you see here the image forward slash logo dot png you save it go over here and then my logos in place now the next thing I would do um, looking at my my site here I would decide whether or not I want this text to be included with my image or if I want this text to be an image or, or, or text on top of this background this blue this blue uh, sky image and that's it's all a design choice is basically what you prefer and how you want to develop your site so what I would do is I would in 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 fireworks here I would then just select this entire graphic this slice and then I would call it billboard and then what I would do come over to my HTML and I would just build out a table just build out a table here with the background of this image I would save it and then well that's not good let's see did I save that correctly let's do file export billboard oh wrong file name okay okay so there's my there's my billboard now I'm not gonna walk you through in the entire site but as you can see each process is very tedious and what I would do I would continue this process building out this entire site here and what I would be doing is piecing it together piece by piece and I would end up with you know uh, like you know a bunch of code and at the end of the day I would then go back and try to to optimize the code so I might re I might remove this style here and I would write might might remove it give it a class name billboard something like that and then include that CSS information in a, a separate CSS file and so a, it's a slow tedious process but at the end of the day I get a working HTML prototype uh, website um, according to my liking and I can then you know check them across different browsers and uh, and you know be done with it but send me any feedback if this video was helpful and uh, look for it you know look out for more videos to come and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, we'll be chatting soon all right talk to you soon bye Thank you.